mara nyingi na kila wakati vijana walipokuwa wanaweza kuulizia kazi kuna lile kipengee pale huwa linasema work experience and people would wonder where would i get the work experience and i've just come in from college swala so, hili zima liliweza kumfikia rais uhuru kinyata akalisikia na akaamua kufanya jambo mnamo mwaka 2019 chini ya public service commission wakaweza kuanzisha mfumo mpya wa internship kupitia uongozi wa rais uhuru kinyata this internship program was to enable the young people get technical skills and also gain the work experience and also have an opportunity to know what the work environment is all about this year alone 3200 young people are currently undergoing their internship in various ministries departments and agencies na watakuwepo hapo kwa muda wa mwaka mmoja watakapomaliza bila shaka watakuwa wamepata ile work experience ambao kila mtu anaitisha anapoweka uh, advertisement ama notice ya kazi lakini tangu ulipoanza mfumo huu wote kufikia sasa vijana ambao wameweza kupitia mikono ya public service commission under the internship program ni takriban elfu kumi. na wote hawa wameweza kupata nafasi ya kuweza kujishughulisha na masuala tofauti kulingana na somo lao ama you know their expertise that they have gotten from the colleges eh, ili waweze kujua ni vipi ambao wataweza kuendeleza kazi zao na sasa kile ambacho public service kimeweza kufanya ni kwamba kime train maafisa mia nne. Maafisa hawa their basic job is to work with the interns, to work with them to be able to gain their experience in their various departments. Lakini la kufurahisha zaidi ambalo utajua na najua many of the young people who've been able to be interns are going to say what? Yes. 25,000 shillings is what these young officers get when they are in for internship under the public service commission. Eh, ukusikia vibaya? Shilingi 1025 wanaweza kupata. Na ni kwa nini Rais Uhuru Kenyatta aliweza kufanya hivi? Hili likuwa ni kuweza kuhakikisha vijana mtu anaweza kupata angalau nauli ya kwenda katika nafasi hiyo ya kazi pia akaweza angalau kujidunulia shati mbili tatu <laughs> za kuweza kumwezesha kufika pale kwenye kazi ili akae nia naye ako smart pale kazini na ya tatu pia angalau aweze kujidunulia mawili matatu because it's possible for you to go to internship and not have even money for lunch i know that experience but that's a story for another day because for those of us who did not have the opportunity we were able to just go in for attachment and we actually had to pay for attachment to be placed in for attachment but that's a different story now because the public service under the guidance of his excellency president uhuru kinyata is giving the young people an opportunity Of the 10,000 young people who've been able to benefit from this particular program, many of them have been absorbed in the different ministries and departments that they took their internship in. Others have moved to other departments and others have moved to the private sector. And the reports that we have gotten or rather the public service has been able to get is that the young people are truly able to run their jobs skillfully. The other thing that is good about this program is that the database still remains with the public service commission. So in the event that opportunities do come up within the government sector, the young men and women are able to get a priority once they have been able to apply because they were able to do the internship in the different agencies. Now, I know many are asking how do we get there? You need to apply. Let me also let you know that other than that his excellency president uhuru kinyata is also trying to bring on board the private sector to be able to see if they would be willing to embark on this particular program to help the several young people that are stranded out there president uhuru kinyata is keen in ensuring that the young people get an opportunity for a better tomorrow